Hey coaches, welcome back to 3 Down Development. In this week's series of videos, I'm going to take a look at why the NFL, uh, big time American college football, and even the U Sports and CFL level are all falling in love with tight bunch. I think this is something that if you're a high school coach um, on either side of the border and you're looking for a shot in the arm early in your season, something to get your offense going, uh, you can run a ton of different concepts out of this. We're going to go through the main ones that you'll see taking over in the NFL. Um, and I think that can be really, really valuable, again, to people focusing more so on high school coaches. Um, but this will work at any level of football uh, and with a variety of different personnel groups as well. So you'll see teams doing this with two tight ends at the Y and at that kind of sniffer, or what I have denoted as the tight end here. If you're an 11 personnel team, you can do a lot of this out of uh, out of four R as well. Um, 10 personnel. Uh, so lots of options. And I think when you look at tight bunch and the reason why I think tight bunch is so effective is you're able to change the strength of formation. You're able to move players post snap and pre snap uh, to different sides of the formation uh, in different ways that make it really hard for the defense to maintain the number, the numbers and leverages that they want. Uh, so for example, here in this first one uh, and really in the run game, um, you know, there's obviously a variety of things you can do, but I see two things really, really commonly out of this stuff, and that's inside zone and duo, uh, which can be very similar when we're going to talk about the similarities and differences here. Um, but it's all set up of off of this tight bunch formation. So here we have the tight bunch to the field. The Z is going to kind of run that jet motion and then just carry out that fake into the flat. Um, hopefully pulling that defensive end up the field or at least getting that defensive end's eyes off of that slice block. And when we do that, we make the slice block a lot easier for that fullback tight end or sniffer. We're running inside zone to the left. Uh, the running back and quarterback are going to mesh here. There's no read or RPO option. Uh, we're simply giving the football and that tight end is going to kick out the defensive end. Now I here have the defense in a too high structure with the X coming down and push cracking. Uh, on that free safety. And the other great thing with the tight bunch is it lets you add bodies to the blocking scheme. So our Y is going to come dig out the nickel Sam defender. Um, you know, if the, if the nickel Sam is, is outside, um, you know, and, and the safety is more of a threat, but basically the first player beyond the center's point there, the Mike linebacker, uh, we're going to let that Y player dig out. So this is kind of the basic, you'll see this out of under center. You'll see this off of the fly jet motion. The Rams do a ton of that. Um, and you'll see this out of stacks and out of tight bunch, not just out of tight bunch, but this is one thing that I think any offense, um, you know, can benefit from. And, and it allows you as the running back here to get downhill and even cut the ball back behind uh, that, that backside defensive tackle, hopefully into a, a pretty big space opened up by the tight end coming across and kicking out that defensive end. You could also pull the backside guard and run this as a power switch concept. Um, same idea, same principles, same numbers advantage applies. So we're lining up here offensively in a three by one set, but ultimately when the ball carrier approaches the line of scrimmage, that Zed has now come across in a fly motion, not just getting the eyes of the defense, um, but adding a blocker to that side or a player that can subtract a defensive player to that side. And then you're adding the tight end across late as well, really changing the strength of the formation. That then builds into play action, uh, and that's something you'll really see out of these sets, again, whether it's under center or in the gun. So here we're just running our slide pro. Um, you know, you got the two backs end up protecting on the same side. Tight end coming across. We'll take the end. The running back after the fake will take the D-gap there. Um, we're C-gap through the weak side B-gap with the O-line and the slide. And then we're going to run our X on a skinny post. You see the Chiefs run variations of this all the time. So you got your, your Z coming across in the fly sweep. They become the kind of check down bubble route in the boundary. We're trying to get our X vertical on that skinny post. If not, we're going to try and take the corner and the free safety off the board of that skinny post and throw the Y in behind it. The Rams do this a ton. The 49ers do this a ton. Uh, and it's something that's a very makeable throw, you know, drag route back into the boundary. So tough for the Wilk here to find and locate that receiver. Um, as he comes back across the formation. So again, really simple three-level read. You're eliminating reads for your quarterback. Um, heavy, hard play action. You could do this under center uh, and, and boot and settle off of this, but we're looking to sell that inside zone look and then take that shot to the skinny post 
down to the drag and then to the check down if nothing else presents itself. And this can be a big play, right? You get that jet sweep action. This guy bubbles into the boundary. That corner gets run off. The will linebacker doesn't get any width because we have this Y running that over route. You know, all of a sudden that that Z's in a ton of space. Uh, if if we end up um, if we end up having you know these players play like a zone concept and staying off to the field. The next major run concept you're going to see is duo. Okay, and this is where we're going to bring the run back towards the bunch. We're getting double teams here on the interior defensive tackles, driving those double teams back to the Mike and Will linebacker. Again, going to push crack here with the X. Our tight end is going to block uh, that rush end. If that end steps of the field, we'll take him down. If that end tries to jump outside and play contain, we'll kick him out. The running back's just going to read the mic. If he buries into the double teams, we're going to bounce this back behind uh, and then look for the first available gap that presents itself behind the bunch. Um, and, and if that mic hesitates or flows over, we're going to stick it, hit that ball up inside um, and, and take our four, five, six yards, hitting the ball downhill. So this is a great first down play, especially if you're getting too high. Uh, if the team's trying to play too high to this, you know, you've got everybody blocked up. You know, often even if this is one high, they're going to say, hey, we're going to make the corner tackle. Um, so if we did get one high, and they spun this player down and they're really more matching the numbers. Okay, now we would just take this Z, have the Z take that strong safety and now make that corner tackle. Um, so it's fine even if we do get that corner or that uh, that safety down, likely also if that safety down, our corner is gonna give us a little more space too. So this is a super common play you're seeing out of this. Again, I think it's really hard to defend because you get down into one high Right, you're setting yourself up for play action, and still this ball can get to the corner. Um, probably the one of the worst tacklers on the defense, that field corner. And if you're trying to stay in too high to take away the pass game, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, you know, you're gonna have a hard time uh, you know, being able to stay gap sound on this. We're gonna force, you know, somebody to come off the roof and make this tackle late, you know, which we all know can be a huge problem for safeties throughout the course of a game, trying to read out when they should do that and when they should hold on that hash mark and protect against the vertical shot. Then you'll also get the play action off of this. So again, the hard down blocks is a great opportunity. Can be out of under center as well to really sell that play action, have the quarterback get his back to the defense, fake the ball to the running back, um, and then snap back around. And again, we're trying to eliminate you know decisions from the quarterback, keep it simple. So here we just have a double post. This is gonna be a really skinny post from the Z. We may even have to outside stem this to create the spacing. The Y is driving across the opposite hash mark. Okay, and when the quarterback comes out of his fake, that's where his eyes are on that opposite post, back to the middle of the field post. And then we'll come to the X on this deep drag. You see, again, the Chiefs hit this all the time. Uh, Tyree Kill, Debo Samuel, Samuels will hit this all the time with the 49ers. And then if the running back, you know, if no one blitzes in that D gap, if the nickel drops off, the running back can become either a check down option back down to the field. Um, but really, when you're running the ball effectively, it, obviously it sets up the opportunity to take these play action shots. And the big thing you see right now with these is these are all routes where we're going to catch the ball on the move, right? The X is dragging across the line of scrimmage. If it's cover one, that corner's got a long way to run. If it's man, the corner's got a long way to run. If they're trying to play some kind of man match concept, you know, the player who's matching that across the field has a long way to run. And we have seven players in protection if we need to. So if holding up in protection is something you have an issue with, you know, this again shortens the throws, right? We don't have anything, you know, super vertical outside this hash mark. Um, makeable throws, lots of protection, hard downfield play action. A um, lot of ways this can set up and be successful for your offense. Similar look here, again, same thing. Okay, but now we're going to get to subtly different landmarks. We're still going to run the skinny. From the Z, the Y is going to stem in like they're going to run that uh, deep over or post route and then snap back out to the corner on the scissors, okay? Um, anytime we can get that Z to push through and potentially take this corner and safety off the board, now we can come back to the Y um, running that corner route and, again, snap our eyes back down to the X coming across, replacing that safety. If the corner and safety end up taking the post, and corner routes respectfully, then our X coming back over top of the backers again should be a viable option on that drag route. The next thing you'll see is you'll get kind of the end around action. So this is very similar to the fly sweep 
um, which you'll see from a lot of teams. And obviously being able to give the fly sweep is important as well. You want to be able to do that to keep the defense honest. There's a lot of good resources on here about jet sweep, so I didn't include you know a ton of different ways to do that in this video. But here on the end around, okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're, now we're it, taking the formation, sticking it in the boundary. Anytime we go FIB, we're forcing the defense to adjust. You know, most teams aren't going to want to leave that Z all by themselves. So you're going to end up with some kind of, you know, short in the box situation defensively or offensively here. Um, or, de so yeah, sorry, defensively going to be short in the box on defense and, and ultimately have the numbers on offense. So, again, here's split zone. It could be counter. Anything where you're trying to influence that end up field, um, you could pull the guard. Lots of different things you could do here with the end around, pulls the guard or the defensive end of the field. And then we're given that inside zone look downhill. Obviously, you can mesh this with a read mesh as well um, to really get the threat of quarterback run off the backside of this, which we'll get to in a second. But again, I think it's a great way to get that defensive end up the field and then look to cut this inside zone back. Then off that, obviously, you want to have a way to give the end around. So here, we're going to have that exact same action. Now we're going to give the end around coming in behind, still showing that push crack. Hopefully we can drag this corner inside. Now we're going to slip this tight end right by the defensive end. Again, trying to influence now. The DN's been getting kicked out, getting kicked out, getting kicked out. Hopefully now we can suck that defensive end in and get a lead blocker for this end around. Put the ball into space that way get the ball to our x receiver hopefully a great opportunity to get the ball into space and out the gate especially with the down uh the down crack block here from uh the z if it's any sort of man coverage out here the corner is going to follow them in and then hopefully we'll pick them up with the tight end coming across you can also just have the tight end pick up the safety um and just run off or one-on-one -on -one the corner here with the z Similar idea building off of that. We want a three-level play action. Um, so we're going to get the same action here, fake the end around. That guy's going to become our flat check down. Same slide zone style protection where the uh, tight end is going to insert um, or, or slice come across and kick out that rush end. Ultimately, um, we're hoping to suck up the linebackers uh, with, with that flow, pull out the flat defender, uh, with the X running that kind of orbit end around action. Then we got our skinny post back down the pipe and again back to our deep over out, this time from the Y coming from the boundary to the field. Similar read for the quarterback to what we've seen already. We're going to take the skinny post shot back down to the Y and then back down to our X in that three level read progression. This is one of my favorite concepts off of this. This is something you'll see a ton uh, in college football. We'll run the X on the end around. They're going to end up running the bubble to occupy the flat defender. The Z is going to run that bang eight or that glance route um, and looking to occupy the safety, keep them out of the run fit. We're going to bring that tight end across again, kick out the defensive end, use the Y to insert on whoever the overhang player is there in the boundary. So really we should feel like we're in a pretty good position to block up seven defenders in tight proximity to the run. The safety should be the player that has to insert um, and create you know, an eighth fitter um, for the for the seven gaps we're creating between the Y and the tight end here. And we're going to keep them out of it with the bang eight post. Um, this is a deadly concept. You see Bama run it, you see Clemson run it. Um, and especially with that end around action, that's a viable shot. So if that corner backs off with this, right, you're running that RPO, you can easily sling that out to what should be one of your best receivers in space. That's all for today's video. We are going to record and post with this video a members-only video breaking down not only the, the vertical passing game, but some great quick game pass options. Also out of tight bunch, things that you're seeing in the NFL and NCAA as recently as last weekend. And even looking back to some of the great stuff that LSU did with Joe Burrow. If you're interested in that, become a member. If you want to support our channel, become a member. Being a subscriber is great, um, but being a member gets you access to a ton of our members only content. We did a Mike Leach breakdown um, uh, for our last members only video. We have a ton of Canadian football stuff uh, for members as well. Um, and if you want to support the channel, like I said, we got a ton of members only content here and more coming each week. We also did uh, a breakdown on attacking Iowa State's three safety structure, um, which is members only as well. So check that stuff out. More and more members only stuff coming every day. And thanks again for supporting Three Down Development.